Hey guys, it's Dee from Sarah Designs. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to do all things embossing folders. One of our crafty friends has asked, how do we use them? She's new to crafting. And so she asked, how do you use embossing folders? There is millions of different ways to emboss out there. I'm going to touch on just a few. I'm sure there's a million more that I'm not going to be touching on. I'm going to try to do the basics so our crafty friend can get started. There's all kinds of machines you can use. And we're going to get into it. And this might be a lengthy video. I apologize ahead of time. Um, there's so many different ways to emboss and we're going to start right now. So stay tuned, sit back, grab yourself a drink and oh, let's get started. All right. First things first is machines. There are several, there's a million different machines out there. My very first machine that I have ever bought when I first got into crafting was this texture boutique. It looks like a little purse, has a little charm. It says Sizzix. It's from Sizzix. Look how cute it is. It's very dusty because I don't use it often. But I started out crafting watching May May Made It and a few other uh, YouTubers, crafting YouTubers. And they kept talking about a die cutting machine. Well, I couldn't afford the Cricut or Brother Scan and Cut or any of those at the time. And I wasn't actually sure if that's something I wanted to get into. But I did see them using this big machine that they, they they rolled through and cut things. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. Well, we went on a camping trip one time. I know I'm getting into a story now. Sorry. Story time. We went on a camping trip one time and my husband ended up stepping on a nail. And he ended up in the hospital for five days during our camping trip. And it rained. So Sarah and I were stuck in a camper for a few days back and forth to the hospital and whatnot so i was like let's go to michael's see what they have well i found this super cheap i think it was like 30 dollars and i was like oh that's that machine that they use to cut stuff with let's get it so we got it i brought it back it comes with these plates i brought it back to the camper and i tried it and it did not cut couldn't figure out why. Well, lo and behold, it turns out it's not a cutter. It's for embossing only. It's called the Texture Boutique. So, that's my little story about that. I have a couple cuts in here, as you can see, in the plates that I tried to cut. Because I did buy a couple die cuts at Michael's, too, to try to use it. So, anyway, that's an embossing machine. This little Spellbinders one does both cutting and embossing, and it but it only does the small ones, the two inches, two inches and under. Okay, only does two inches, the smaller ones. And then I also have a big machine. It's very heavy, and I think it's downstairs right now. It is called the heck's it called? Oh, I can't. I, it's got to be downstairs. I swear I brought it up here. It is my Vagabond from Tim Holtz. And I love it. It's a heavy duty. It's electronic. You plug it in, but it's heavy. The older I get, oh, it's over there. The older I get, the harder it is to put up. If I could just sit it someplace and leave it there and keep it plugged in, I'd be fine. But I don't have the room to just leave it sitting somewhere. So I don't use it that often. But it's it's a beast. Um, that will do both cutting and embossing. As does the Sizzix Big Kick. Or any other kind of die cutting machine. Like this. You can see mine is extremely well loved. So, this will also. This does embossing, it does cutting. What 
else does it do? I guess that's it. That's all you need it for, right? Anyway, so there are the machines that I have. There's a million of them out there that you can use. There's also a way you can emboss by just using one of these little boom folder. This is a plastic little cheapy one. Uh, I have a, this one here, little stylus, little ball on the end. Super cheap, super inexpensive. Um, any kind of tool like that. Here's another boom folder. And I'll show you how to do that as well. But, real quick, we're going to get into embossing folders and what they are and what they do. So, here's an example of what they do. You see the bumpies? It embosses. Here's another example of an emboss. I'll show you how we did that. Let's see what else. Here's another example. We just embossed on these. So many things you can do with it to just step up your card game. So, um, what it does is it basically imprints your paper with whatever the design is. So an embossing folder, they're plastic usually. You have a debossed side, which is indented, and an embossed side. When they sandwich together, they close up good, and they give you your imprint. I'm going to show you right now how that works. Real quick, like I said, you can use pretty much anything to emboss. This here is from Fiskars, I believe. I got this years ago. Little wheelie thing. You can emboss in this. You're gonna stick your paper in here. You're gonna squeeze down the lever. You're gonna wheel it in. Goes in flat. Comes back, corrugate it, corrugate it. Period. So that's one way to get texture on your on your cards or your project. That's how we did this. So that's that. We are going to use Some of them also come with a stamp, so you can emboss and stamp on top of it. I have a few of them, not a lot. Comes with a stamp. This one says, Mary and Joy. This one says, Joy and Mary, so it'll imprint that. So I'll show you how to do one of them. I only have three of those. This one here, just some lines. So we'll just do one of those, show you. This here's just a regular ordinary embossing folder. They come in different sizes, like I said. Cuddlebug works on the same machine as a Doris does, same as a Sizzix does. Uh, what other ones are there? I'm sure there's a plethora of others out there that you can get. Sizzix. Like I said, this one, Therese. So, they come in different sizes. You get your 3D ones. I only have one or two of the 3Ds. Not many. I love them a lot. They give you a really good impression. We'll show you that one. There are they are a bit thicker, so we'll show you that one. So let's just get started here. I'm going to use this cardstock, I guess. We're going to use the Texture Boutique to start out with. We'll just use this little Doris one. It's got flowers on it. 
All you do, stick it in. You're gonna do your sandwich. It tells you here what to do. So we're gonna do our base plate. We're going to do our little shimmy. We're gonna put in our paper and we're gonna put in our top plate. So it'll look like that. You're gonna stick it in the hole here and we're gonna run it through. It gets a little tight, but that's okay. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Ready? Ta -da! So this is the embossed and the debossed. If you're not happy with that, because I'm not. It looks kind of thin on the thin side. You can... Put in one of the little foamy thingies. They're like rubbery foamy. Nope. Yep. It feels tight. It's going through. It'll give it a little more pressure. If it's too tight, don't force it. I don't want you to break your machine. Call it a shim. You can put a shim in there. Put another piece of paper in there. There we go. That was rough. You usually use these foamy ones if you're going to try to emboss a die cut. But that scares me, so I don't do it. There we go. A little better. So, you see the difference? Without a shim. With the shim. So you get a deeper cut or deeper imprint. So that's using that machine only. I don't usually use this one much and it kind of collects dust. On my desk back here. But it is cute and I do like it. That was my very first machine. So that's that. Let's use the big one. Dun, 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 dun. This is my big kick. Wash my baby. So it also tells you sandwiches on how to do sandwiches. It tells you your recipe for your sandwich on what to do what with. So if you have a wafer, wafer, wafer thin die, wafer thin die or a thin lit, you put this on there. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It's a number two plate. I took mine off because I didn't like to have to keep unhinging and hinging them. Um, these are inklets. Here's your texture plates. So you have to figure out, this is an impression. So you have to figure out what works for your sandwich. And I'm thinking we're going to need all three of them. For our sandwich, it's been a while since I've embossed, actually. You put your main plate down. Your base plate. Uh, we're going to take this little Derice one. It's a thinner one. It's cardstock. You're going to stick it in there. You're going to put this right on top. You take your top plate. Put it on top. I gotta move it a little bit and it's going to wheel through. Nope, I can't force it. All right, that's not happening. So, I'm gonna take out the number two plate. You have to figure out what sandwich works best for your machine. That one's going through. It's a little tight, but it's not stopping me. So that one's a good sandwich, or yeah, good sandwich. Now, if you'll notice, it didn't go all the way through. If you need something longer, you're gonna have to do it twice. 
But there you go. Isn't it pretty? You can cut this down and use it on your card or your project. I also have, sorry, these longer ones. Problem with these is I don't have a long plate. So when you put it through, it's only going to go and impress up to here. You can have all this extra. So you have to put it through and then push it, put it through again. So that's the downside for those. But I don't really have a project. Well, now that I'm doing the scrapbooking, I might want to do that. Didn't think about that. So they do sell the longer plates, actually. So that's that. Now let's get into the fun ones. Okay, this one's a little thicker. A lot of people like to wet spritz, moisten, let's say, their cardstock when they're using the 3D ones only because the 3D ones are very deep and they do a very deep impression and they could crack your cardstock. So using to a different color than the orange, using the water helps break down the fibers a bit. I just knocked a whole bunch of stuff over. We're gonna do this little Perlex iridescent fill the puff cardstock. I just feel this thing's so old. Um, for Z's, I like the way it spritzes. Does a light mist on it. Put it in. Put it in. Again, you have to play with your sandwich to see what works for your machine. Even though the machines might be the exact same machine, the way the wheels are and the tightness of things and whatnot might not be the same on mine as they are on yours. So that won't go through. That's too loose. So. I'm gonna try a shim from another machine. Nope, won't go in. A little bit too loose. So what we're gonna do take our number one plate all right here we go a little better I can feel a little bit tighter Let's see what happens oh <laughs> She's a beautiful. Look at how pretty. The 3D, if you want that effect, is the way to go. I have one of my other 3D ones. I only have a couple, like I said, because they're a little bit expensive for my taste. And I am now on a no shopping uh, thing for a year. No more craft supply. However, I have this. I have an obsession with bees um, and anything bee related when it comes to crafting. So I have the 3D beehive one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Literally beautiful. Let's see. Let's try it out, shall we? I'm going to do it on another piece. On oh, spritz, spritz, spritz. Spritzy spritz. Sticking it in. Same sandwich, because we know that's what works for my machine. Here we go. Now, mind you that this is a lot thicker. Who makes this one? This one's from Sizzix. 
This one is from Sizzix as well, but this one's a little bit thicker than this one. But you still get, look how beautiful. These 3Ds, the way to go if you can afford them, if you want that effect. They're absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love. That's that one. And then, I'm going to show you this one here. I'm making a humongous mess on my desk right now. And then I have one more thing to show you, and then I'll let you go. Um, this one here is the stamp and the embossed. So, what we're going to do first, you want to stamp it first. And I'll tell you how I know. Because I messed up before. And I I put this through the machine and then trying to stamp on top of the embossed, I, embossed thing was not fun. So, okay. I'm going to take... Our ink and ink it up. We're gonna put this down. We're going to schmooze it. We're going to massage it with our embossing buddy. Not embossing, impressible. Impressing this thing. I'm just pushing it down, trying to get even pressure so I can get a good print. It's okay. For demo purposes, it's fine. Now you need to put it in the proper way. So, the front would be the side that says Sizzix. We're gonna cut this to size. I've already done this once and messed it up. The glass is back on so we can see what the hell we're doing. Heck, we're doing. Sorry. It's so sorry. And I think we're good there. Although you can't see it. Let's stick it back in. Make sure it is lined up. Push her through. Bring her back just because I want it back here and not up there. <gasps> Voila. So you can see the ink's impressed. So I don't ever use this because it's. I don't know why I don't. Seems like a lot of work. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a lazy crafter. <laughs> Newsflash. All right, I gotta clean that one off. Anyway, that's what you can do with them. I mean, it's pretty cool, actually. And you can, it's one-stop shop. You put that on there, you do that, and you can do that. You can put your sediment in there, and you're good to go. That's pretty cool. All right. Um... I have one more thing to show you guys. And it's not with this machine. It's actually not with any machine. Like I said earlier, you can emboss with this stuff. And I'm going to show you how. Right now. If you don't have an embossing machine, get an old cushiony, this is an old cushiony mouse pad from back in the day. Get one of these super, super cheap, Dollar Tree sells these actually. Get a stylus. Uh, what else do we have we can use? You could probably use the back of a ballpoint, like the back of a pen. Um, 
to do this. What do you want to do? Get your card stock. Let's do a color card stock. Oh, okay, it's just what I pulled out. All right. This, Martha Stewart Crafts. This I got years ago for $4.99 from Tuesday morning. You don't have to use this, which they have templates that you could do that you can put down and you just kind of trace. I don't know where the little tool is that goes with this, but you can trace it and it would give you an indent like just push down hard, not too hard that it breaks the fibers and gives you a hole, but hard enough, firm enough that you can get an imprint in there. I've never used this. As butterflies. I don't know where the little tool is though. But that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is you can take any stencil. I think these are from the Dollar Tree. Kids Crafts. Kids Craft. Little plastic stencils. You take one of these, put it down. Take your stylus. We're just stick with the heart since we're with the hearts. I would use a thicker end depending on how big your uh, your stencil is, what you're stenciling or what you're impressing, but use a thicker end. Just kind of go around the side. You got an impression, see? Let's say we want to do, well, let's say we want to do the whole thing full. Make a random pattern, but make it look like we used an embossing folder. Go a little bit off the edge so it looks like it's intentional. a different tool. You can use them, one of these ends from a scoring thing. This is from my Cricut. Try that. There. You see? So you kind of have an embossed impression handmade without extra. You just buy these cheapy little thingies from anywhere. Look, they have circles. They have shapes. You can do... Where did I even get these from? I don't even know. This actually says Tupperware. <laughs> Somebody must have gave them to me. I don't know. <laughs> See, you can find them anywhere. I might have gotten these from uh, Goodwill or something. What does this one say? Oh, I might run my glasses on. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, use your imagination. You can do, and you can even freehand something and just do your own little heart with 
as long as you have a soft something underneath it that's soft, you can do this. So, that's the video for today. Oh, there's the glasses, of course. For today, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Um, I hope I helped teach you all something that you didn't might not have known. And stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so. And the next video is going to be... I don't know. Stay tuned to see. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. Right.